Yeah, I think you just got to give credit to the Indians. Um, you know, they've just been far too good in all three matches, um, and we just haven't been up to it. I think. Um, you know, if we're um, brutally honest, I think with with bat and ball, um, we haven't been able to uh, penetrate. Uh, we back ourselves to keep wickets in hand uh, with the bat, and we haven't been able to do that. India have put us under pressure for long periods of time and, and got wickets at crucial times. And, and in New Zealand, you know, if you're three or four down, uh, with still 25 overs to go, um, you're still a long way behind the game. And, um, you know, we fought hard today, but uh, just wasn't good enough. Did a lot of hard work and um, would have been nice to to top it off and, and maybe just stretch that score out to, to 270, 280, you, you, you never know. But um, no, it was, it was nice, but uh, obviously, you know, when you, when you lose, it's pretty tough. Well, I think obviously a step up in opposition. Um, and at the same time, I think those key moments, uh, India winning them um, and, and putting us under pressure, we're just not able to capitalise, um, you know, when we are in a, a, a semi-dominant position. Um, but yeah, as I said, you've you got to give credit to, to India. When they batted, we haven't been able to um, get those early wickets to put them under pressure. Um, vice versa with the bat, they're getting those early wickets and putting us under pressure. I think you've just got to be patient and, and know they're going to bowl good balls, I think. Um, you know, you've got to take it deep. If, if you're losing wickets in those first two or three overs, um, you know, they, they go in and, and squeeze a new batter and, and it becomes very tough. Um, you just got to acknowledge that uh, they're going to bowl good balls and that you can catch up later on and um, with wickets in hand. Uh, and that's what we tried to do today. Uh, I thought we, we did it pretty well for, for most of the time. A very good um, balance to the to the Indian side. I thought he came in, bowled well, um, used his change up well and, and used his bumper well with the with the short field, uh, short, uh, with the wind as well. Um, but no, I think we, we wanted to try and negate the, the spinners as much as, as possible. Uh, I thought we were able to do that, but harder coming in and getting some, some vital wickets um, and, and a good catch as well. Um, just you know, just the presence I think that he brings into this Indian side. I think um, you know, the balance of this side uh, is, is a lot better when he's in the side. I think. I think that's an exciting thing. We've still got two games to go, and even though it is, um, you know, the series is gone, there's still uh, a lot of pride uh, in the team and, and playing for New Zealand. Uh, Hamilton's been a, a, a good hunt, hunting ground for us as a team, and um, you know, obviously, World Cup is, is not far away, and um, you know, still. Uh, you know, combinations to sort out. Um, I don't know when the team's coming out, but obviously there's a couple of new personnel coming in, and uh, you know, hopefully they can bring in uh, a new, new edge to the team. And um, yeah, as I said, it's it's tough, but we have to get on. It's professional sport, and um, hopefully we can bounce back in the last two games. You're proud of playing for your nation, and, and obviously the. Three nils is pretty tough to swallow, but at the same time, um, we get another opportunity in a couple of days' time. Um, we need to play a lot better in, in all facets of the game, but uh, you know, hopefully, we can get a bit of pride back in, uh, in those last two matches. He, he played the first game, and um, I think there's a there's been a bit of a structure on where they wanted to play uh, each each player in each game. I'm not sure what the team composition is for the next uh, couple of matches, but I'm sure uh, he, he's knocking on the door. He's not too far away.